Hey, everyone! Welcome back once again. Yesterday at 5, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, SpaceX launched its first crew mission of the year, the AX-3 mission. The third Axiom mission carrying four astronauts was successfully launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from Pad 39A in Florida. Ignition, engine full power, and the off. So Axiom 3. This marked the 12th overall human spaceflight mission for SpaceX and the sixth launch of the year. After stage separation, the Falcon 9 Booster B-1080 returned to Earth, landing on Landing Zone 1 at Cape Canaveral. We see Landing Zone 1. Crowds cheering here at SpaceX Mission Control Hawthorne as we tune in to see if we stick the landing. And if you couldn't tell by the loud cheers, we did. We did Stage stick. Two, FTS has saved. We did stick. The Crew that Dragon landing. Freedom was successfully separated from the Falcon 9 second stage and is now in orbit, on its way to rendezvous with, with the space Kate station. Earlier. There we go. Dragon separation confirmed. As you can see. Dragon has separated from the second stage. A pretty cool view here looking up at the heat shield that will return the AX3 crew back to Earth in just about two weeks. So this is our first view of AX3 flying free. The Dragon capsule is scheduled to dock with the space station on Saturday, January 20 at 4.19 a.m. Eastern Time. Congratulations to both Axiom Space and SpaceX for the successful launch and I wish them continued success in completing the mission ahead. To date, SpaceX has launched 46 astronauts into space and safely brought 38 back home. A few hours after the launch of the AX-3 mission, SpaceX's attempt to launch its seventh mission of the year, the Starlink 711 mission from Vandenberg, was scrubbed. Teams will target another launch attempt today at 6.15 p.m. Pacific time. Back at Starbase, crews are actively working on upgrading the orbital tank farm and the launch pad. The Starship vehicle designated for the next Starship flight is apparently ready for flight, awaiting a launch license expected next month. In other exciting news, the Brownsville City Commission has officially endorsed renaming the area east of Brownsville, Texas, to Starbase, following the lead of Cameron County. The decision, formalized on December 12, 2023, aligns with the city's resolution expressing support for the name change. Notably, Starbase is home to SpaceX's commercial space launch sites, making it a significant hub in the field of space exploration. Brownsville Mayor John Cowan Jr. conveyed the city's endorsement to the U.S. Board on Geographic Names, emphasizing the local enthusiasm for the area as a frontier of space exploration. The term Starbase is already widely used locally, reflecting the community's growing identity as a space frontier. With over 100 residential units, a school, and a restaurant, Starbase is evolving into a vibrant community with plans for expansion, including a hotel and additional housing, underway. SpaceX is truly building the world's busiest, largest, and most advanced spaceport to pave the way for humans to become a multi-planet species. Before concluding the video, here's an update on the Peregrine Lander mission. Astrobotic has confirmed the loss of communication with the spacecraft, indicating that the lander likely burned up during a controlled re-entry over the Pacific Ocean. Despite the setback in Astrobotic's moonshot, it is anticipated that valuable data has been gathered, which will be instrumental for the success of their next lunar lander mission. The Peregrine lander had ambitious aspirations of being the first American lander to return to the moon since the last Apollo mission. Stepping into the spotlight for the upcoming lunar journey is Intuitive Machine's Nova Sea lander, scheduled to launch next month in February atop a Falcon 9 rocket. That's it for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.